just wanted to start by getting you into our head a little bit um, when we started design, kind of for a Jeep. What, what are we thinking? So the first thing that we always look at is we really have kind of two icons for our brand. One is, of course, the Wrangler. It's square, it's tough, uh, it's very rugged. The other is the Grand Cherokee. It's more sculptural, more aerodynamic, um, more fluid. Um, this clearly is much more Wrangler influence. So kind of first started about thinking about which side of the which side of our design family do we want this car to live? The second thing is, um, we did a little bit of research into this segment because it's new for us. Um, it's a much more um, youthful and energetic segment. So if you look at the car, everything is, we wanted everything to be a little more exaggerated, a little more lovable. Um, the lights are big, the flares are big. Um, all the line work on the cars is a little bit more exaggerated. So um, just if you take one thing away from the car as a whole, um, it's just how much character we pumped into this car, knowing exactly what kind of segment it was playing in. Um, the first thing, I want to start the front of the car, and I think that really is what sets up the character of the car. Um, I think first thing you'll notice is the grill. Um, is our is there a Jeep Shield grill um, that, we, that comes, of course, from the Wrangler. And then you should be familiar with the round headlights and the seven slots, um, kind of the signature of, our, of the face of Jeep. Um, in particular, on the Renegade, the, the headlights are just a little bit more broad. We wanted to give it a little bit um, more of an attitude. The lights, um, we wanted to keep them as pure as we could. So um, if you look, um, some of the other functions are remoted out so that it's just purely a round, clean headlight shape. So again, just setting up the character of the car, setting up that it's a Jeep is, the, is our signature Jeep grill. Um, the second thing you'll notice, this one here is a limited. Um, so that grill comes in silver. Um, the other ones you'll see have a black grill. Um, this one here is a limited, like I said, this one's a Trailhawk. The difference in the, the lower part of the car, um, this, as Jim said, this car um, is of course very good off-road and I think you'll be surprised by how well it is on-road. Um, this fascia in particular, the bottom here, is designed for um, on-road. And this one is designed for off-road. So the thing that makes it um, more capable than others you may see is the approach angle. It's the angle down here. It's very aggressive on this car, it's 30 degrees. Um, the red tow hooks are a signature of all of our Trailhawk models, where they'll just kind of scream capability. Um, and then again, as I was saying about the features being exaggerated, you'll notice this large power bulge in the hood. Um, just to, again, everything trying to amplify the character of the car. Um, I think this will probably be the best one to look at the side of the car for everybody. Um, I think overall, we want you to know this is a Jeep, even if there's a cover on it. So the profile of the car is very important to us. Um, it's a square shape, it's the short overhangs. Um, uh, main thing is, uh, again, with the Jeep, uh, message of capability. To us, that's um, partially the wheels and tires, about exaggerating the wheels and tires. Uh, the Renegade, just like all our other Jeep, has trapezoidal wheel openings and very exaggerated flares um, up in here. Um, you'll notice that's, again, just amplify the wheels and tires, um, make the car look more planted, stronger, more exaggerated. Um, I can't see it from here, but um, the My Sky roof, when you guys see those panels, hopefully you can see them from above, because we have um, a very large X pattern stamped into that panel. Um, it's derived from our military gas cans. You'll see that theme elsewhere on the car as well. Um, the DLO of the car, the side glass shape, is again very evocative of the Wrangler, um, especially here on the Trailhawk models. It comes with the, uh, this is the black roof. You may see some things about the X on here. Um, again, uh, really exaggerates this uh, the hoop around the windshield and from Wrangler. The belt line where it uh, kicks up towards the front. If you're familiar with our Wrangler half doors, that's a that's a character line that comes from those, um, just like uh, you've seen on our Cherokee. Um, and then lastly on the side, the uh, the lower cladding, the black pieces down at the bottom. Again, just a, another message of capability um, that you can use this car, that you can take it off road, that you won't damage it. That's really the, the signature of Jeep's capability. Um, from the back of the car, just overall, if you take one thing away from that, it's just, that's the best view of the car for stance. Again, it's about exaggerating the wheels and tires, exaggerating the width of the car. We want it to feel planted, we want it to feel capable. And I think for this segment, uh, the rear view of this car is, is pretty, um, pretty exaggerated how big those flares really are. Um, it's pretty unique to this um, size of a car. Um, Secondly, on the back, we did pay a lot of attention to aerodynamics on this car, and I think the biggest uh, piece of that that you can visually see on the outside is the, the spoiler in the back. It's, it's a pretty long piece. We've, we've often referred to it as 
like the car is wearing a baseball cap on backwards. Um, so again, that kind of character, exaggerated. Um, second, the taillights. Uh, again, very not the same as Wrangler, but very inspired by Wrangler. Um, we wanted them to look like separate parts, like the Wrangler, but just a little bit more um, exaggeration, a little bit more refinement. So you'll notice that they're nicely sculpted into the back of the car. And then lastly, on the back, same story like the front, the rear fascia is designed for a very specific purpose. This one here is a latitude trim level. Um, so again, this, they all feature this really aggressive departure angle. When you get to the trail hawk, um, you'll notice that it's on the left side, there'll be a red tow hook there. Again, just screaming capability. And then on the limited model, you'll notice that piece in, in silver with a, a dual chrome tip exhaust. Just again, a little bit more, this car's about refinement. Um, a couple other things on the outside of the car. Uh, when you guys are outside, you'll notice a lot of bright colors, a lot of uh, fun colors. And then you'll notice how many different wheels the car has. There's a, uh, quite a few different wheels ranging from 16 inches to 18 inches. All of them are tailored to the a more sporty personality, a more premium personality, or of course a more off-road personality. So um, please, when you're walking around, uh, notice all those things still get in. Again, for exterior design, the message of the car is just how, how full of character it is.